Hey, Amanda, come home early. It's already dinner time. Where the heck are you? Are you playing around? How irresponsible of you that you didn't even cook dinner. Florence, please prepare your own dinner tonight. I told you so this morning. And for your information, I'm not playing around. What did you say? I told you that I'm going home to take care of my father for the weekend starting this week. So please at least prepare your own dinner. I wonder if you said something like that. I don't know if I heard it or not. But I'm stumped. I'm incredibly hungry for macaroni and cheese right now. I don't want to eat the instant version of that because it tastes horrible. Why don't you make it yourself then? What are you talking about? House chores, including cooking, is a wife's job. So you should come home to make it for your mother-in-law. My request should be your top priority above all others. If you have time to make excuses, come home as soon as possible. This is horrible. Are you trying to say that preparing food for you is more important than taking care of my father? Yes, I am. Because you're the one who married my son. A wife has to put her husband's family first at all times. That's what we call the common sense. No way. Shame on your father, Amanda. He let you get married, but he called you back just to take care of himself. How pathetic. I told my father that I would take care of him on the weekends. Please don't blame him. I see. But even if it was you who initiated it, most parents would have said no. It's miserable and shameful to have a child as a caregiver. I'm so impressed with you and your father that I'm now speechless. What do you mean by that? It's embarrassing to have your child take care of you, isn't it? I'm talking about the fact that there are people who are so ashamed to be cared for by their children. As I recall, your father was in a wheelchair, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Three years ago, he was involved in a car accident, and as a result of the accident, he became paralyzed. He is now in a wheelchair. Paralyzed and in a wheelchair. He's the same age as me, and he's already in diapers. What's wrong with that? I don't see it as a problem, but to be in diapers when you're still old enough to work is a bit of a problem, don't you think so? And to have his own daughter to change his diapers? I would die of embarrassment if I were him. I'd rather jump into the ocean than be humiliated like that. I see. But my father is grateful to me and I'm happy to be able to show him some filial piety. Even though he was paralyzed in the accident, I'm glad that he's alive. I don't like it. Changing diapers is not the way to show filial piety. It seems that no matter what I say, you won't accept it. At any rate, from now on, please don't talk badly about my family. I'm going back to my parents' house every week from now on, and I'll ask you to make your own meals during that time. If you can't make it, please order a delivery service. Well, I won't allow you to do that. You are my son's wife. That's why our family is your first priority at all cost. Take care of the family you live with instead of taking care of your parents. Are you saying that I shouldn't go home every weekend? I wouldn't go that far, but how about just coming back to cook dinner? If you are a wife, you have to make sure your family eats freshly prepared food, right? Why should I go all the way back home just to make dinner? It takes me two hours each way to get home from my parents' house. And you want me to go back to my parents' house after I make dinner? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Your father is paralyzed and can't move anyway, so why don't you just let him sit in a wheelchair for the time until you get there? What a horrible thing to say. I don't want to talk to you anymore today, Florence. I'll leave you with this for now. Derek, can I talk to you now? I think your mother has crossed the line. You should say something to her too. What's the matter all of a sudden? Cross the line? What did mom say? She makes fun of my father's paralysis and says that my in-laws are more important than my father. What is wrong with a daughter taking care of her own father? 
Amanda, calm down. Don't be mad like that. Huh? What do you mean? I just don't understand the reason why. Mom didn't say anything crazy. There's no need to get so mad. I beg your pardon? My mom is right about everything. Amanda, you're my wife. So, as a wife, you have to take care of our house chores. That's terrible. So you think the same way too. But more importantly, I need to talk to you. Is now a convenient time for you? Well, yes. Go on then. I've wanted to ask you for a long time. How much money do you get if you're paralyzed and in a wheelchair? You said your father already quit his job. As I recall, he can use a disability pension for this kind of thing. What's with that question all of a sudden? I don't know why you're asking me that, and if I could, I wouldn't want to answer it even between you and I. It's not the kind of thing you can ask just like that. Oh no, I'm actually thinking about buying a new car soon. No kidding. But these days, we're in a recession and bonuses are low, right? So, I don't have any money for the down payment and I'm in a bit of a bind. I was wondering if your father would take this opportunity to give me some sort of financial support. You're asking help from a paralyzed man? Are you kidding me? I can't believe what you just said out of the blue. I mean, our car still runs perfectly well. There's no need to replace it. I drive the car to work every day, right? So, I want to drive a nice car to get in the mood to go to work. It's a good way to talk to my boss when I drive a nice car. If I get a promotion because of it, you'll be happy too, won't you? If you're going to get the promotion, you'd better work hard and do your best at your job. You don't need to ask my father, who is physically disabled, to help you buy a new car. Don't say that. Your father is rich, right? I'm sure he got a lot of money from the car accident. According to my estimate, I'd say he got at least $5 million. I didn't know that you even calculate that. I mean, that's just too rude of you. I don't think so. I'm letting my wife take care of her father. So I deserve to get the compensation of that. What? Let me tell you this, Derek. I'm the one who wants to take care of my father. I'm well aware that both you and your mother don't want me to do that. But we're not forcing you to stop taking care of your father. We're letting you do as you wish. As the result, I'm sort of lending you to your father. Don't you think your father should repay us in some way? I don't think so. It was a huge mistake to discuss about this matter with you. Don't you dare to mention about my family ever again. This also applies to your mother. Hey, come on, pick up the phone. Get back home now. Hurry up. Don't ignore me, Amanda. What's with you all of a sudden? I'm at my parents' home this weekend taking care of my father. You promised you'd never contact me during that time, remember? Except for emergency, right? Just come home as soon as possible. We're in trouble. What's going on? What do you mean by emergency? It's about my mother. She collapsed and is now in the hospital. What? Florence collapsed? I heard a strange noise in the living room this morning. When I ran there, I found my mother had collapsed. She was rushed to the emergency room and is now in the hospital nearby. She collapsed and was rushed to the emergency room? How is she? Is she conscious? Yes, she is. She just woke up a few minutes ago and can talk just fine. But her right leg is completely immobilized. Seriously? Her right hand is shaking and the doctor says that she is paralyzed due to a stroke. Paralyzed? The doctor told me that it might improve with rehabilitation, but he can't guarantee that for now. I'm afraid that she may never be able to move her right leg ever again. I'm in a sticky situation. I see. Even my dad struggled a lot during the rehab, but I wonder if your mother will be okay. It's physically very hard, 
but the hardest thing in this case is the motivation. How long will Florence stay at the hospital? Will she be moved to another hospital specializing in rehab? Well, she said that she wants to go home as soon as possible. She said that she can do the rehab at home, and since you are a housewife, she wants you to take care of her. Excuse me? The hospital also said that she can either be transferred to a rehabilitation hospital or discharged today. I told the doctor that I'm going to have my mom discharged for home rehab. Amanda, I'm counting on you to take better care of mom from now on. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? If Florence is going to be transferred to a rehabilitation hospital, you shouldn't hesitate. If there's a chance of improvement with rehabilitation, she definitely needs to be seen by a specialist. What are you talking about? Mom wants to go home. It's the family's responsibility to make that happen. But who's going to take care of her when she comes home? It's very hard to take care of a paralyzed person. That's why you're here. You can take care of your own father. So you can take care of my mom too. You're a professional, Amanda. It is not going to be any different taking care of two people, right? Huh? You're my wife. You're the only one I can count on. I'm counting on you to take care of mom. No, I can't do that. Why can't you? I said it's impossible. I can never take care of Florence. If you want to take care of her at home, you can do it by yourself. Hey, don't talk to me like that. I'm serious. Don't be weedy in a situation like this. It would be inappropriate. I don't think so. Huh? The person who made fun of my father so much is now a paralyzed just like him. Serves her right. Florence said that it's embarrassing and disgraceful to be taken care by her children. I thought she said that she would rather jump into the sea than to become the subject of such humiliation. Seems that she hasn't jumped yet. Don't be silly. Your husband's mother just collapsed. She had the stroke and she's paralyzed. And yet, what's with that attitude of yours? Considering what you and your mother have been saying and doing to me, I'd say I have every right to behave like this. What the heck? Let me tell you something. Caring for a family member is a lot harder than you think, Derek. I'm sure you're going to have a very tough time balancing work and nursing care, but good luck. I'm counting on you. What are you talking about? You're the one who have to do the hard work. As my wife, you're going to take care of your mother-in-law. Remember a few seconds ago when I said I couldn't do it? Who's going to take care of someone like that? I think we should get a divorce, Derek. Are you kidding me? I absolutely hate being forced to take care of Florence just because I'm your wife. I don't want to take care of someone who has insulted me and my father so much. I want to stop being your wife. Hey, hold it right there. What are you thinking? Divorce at a time like this? What are you talking about? This is the perfect time for us to have a divorce. What? I'm serious. It's hard enough taking care of my father on the weekends, but it's absolutely impossible to take care of you and your mother every weekday. Really? Caring for my father is something I want to do, so it's fine. But taking care of Florence, even if I get paid, is just too much for me to do. Well then, I'll send you the divorce papers later. Please sign it as soon as you receive it. Hey, Amanda, what do you mean you're abandoning my care? You're my son's wife, but you refuse to take care of your mother-in-law? This is unbelievable. I'm sorry, but I'm not your son's wife anymore. As of today, I'm divorced from Derek. I'm a stranger to you guys. Stop joking around. I'm not. Yesterday, I sent the divorce papers by express mail. Then Derek snapped saying he didn't want such a cold wife like me and signed it right away. I'm glad he's such a bold ex-husband. What a thing to say! I can't believe you divorced him in the heat of the moment! My precious helper is now gone! Don't be so depressed, Florence. Derek has declared manfully that he will take care of everything from now on. 
What? My son said that? He's going to take care of me? Yes, he will. I gave him some advice. He said that it's so easy to take care of you. He was very confident that he could manage both work and your care. Huh? At first, Derek was worried about his future. You are paralyzed and can't move anyway. I told him that since you are paralyzed and couldn't move anyway, if you sit in the wheelchair, you could stay there for hours without troubling him. How rude of you to say such a thing! Then, he said that it's a piece of cake. He said that all he has to do is to sit you in the wheelchair in the morning and then go to work right after that. Even if he has to work late, you are paralyzed so you won't walk around and he can leave you in your wheelchair as long as he wants. Oh, no, wait! Don't tell that kind of bullshit care as an advice to my son! Huh? Bullshit? You were the one who said that you were fine with it, weren't you? What do you mean by that? You told me that all the time. You said that nursing is just fine as long as you keep the person in a wheelchair. Because paralyzed people can't move anyway. Oh no! That's not what I meant when I said that! Also, you are embarrassed to have your own son help you with diapers, aren't you? You said you'd rather jump into the ocean than to be humiliated like that. That's why I made sure to tell Derek about that too. You can't jump into the sea on your own if you are paralyzed anyway. But Derek is very considerate of you, so he said that he doesn't want to make you feel that way. Then he said he doesn't have to do anything. He also said that he can handle it by himself. Oh no! Wait a sec! I can't go to the restroom on my own! I can't even change a diaper by myself! That's why rehab is the best solution for you. But you said that you can handle that at home. Think of every day as rehabilitation and do your best. I can't believe this is really happening! Also, Derek said taking care of you would be easy. Even though he is now divorced, you're lucky to have such a reliable son. Wait! Amanda! I beg you to teach my son properly about how to take care of me. If he can't do that, at least tell him to call a professional. Tell him that he can focus on his work and leave the care to the professionals. Oh, you mean you want to use a home helper? Of course, I've taught Derek about how to use that too. But he said that it's a waste of money. He said he wants to buy a new car if he can get the money from your insurance. No way! A new car with the money from my insurance? Yes, he has been wanting to buy a new car for a long time. And if he gets the insurance money, he will probably go out and buy one right away. At his company, it seems that if you drive a nice car, you get promoted faster. I'm glad that you were able to use the insurance money to help your son get ahead. I beg your pardon? Well, I'll leave you to it. I hope you get discharged from the hospital soon. Hey, Manda! You lied to me! What? What's this? Caring for someone is so hard! You said to me that it was easy! I didn't tell you that it was easy. You misunderstood that by yourself. Huh? I was just giving you some advice. You're the one who said it was easy, not me. Don't shift the blame on me. The way you said that makes it sound easy to me. I didn't know that I have to change her position every hour and also change her diaper. Nothing is easy. I can't do this while working. Yes, nursing is hard work. But you bought a new car with insurance money as a reward for doing that for your mother, didn't you? Then, you have to do your best to take care of her. A new car? I can't afford that for the rest of my life. What do you mean? You still don't have insurance money transferred to your bank account? I'll never get insurance money. My mom doesn't have any private insurance. She was so stingy with her monthly premiums that she didn't want to use that kind of thing. Oh dear, I didn't know about that. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding about this stuff. So we don't have the money we were hoping for and mom's only income is her pension. But that pension will disappear if she hires a helper. That sounds like a lot of work. 
you have a job, but you can't even ask for a helper. So, Amanda, please come back to me. Help me. I won't. I'm at my wit's end. Mom can't move. She's taking her frustration out on me, and I'm missing a lot of work because of her care. There's a rumor that my company has announced the list of candidates for restructuring, and I'm in that list. It's just a rumor, right? Don't worry about it. Work hard and take care of yourself. Even if you don't get a new car, why don't you just work your way up through the ranks? I've worked hard enough already, you know? So this time, you're going to have to work harder for me. Up until now, your allowance has been $300 a month. But if you take care of mom, I'll increase it to $1,000 a month. I promise, I'll treat you better than I've ever treated you. So please, come back to me. Of course, I won't go back to you. I don't care how hard you work. This is between you and your parents. I'm a stranger. I have nothing to do with this. Don't say that, please. You're the one who said that it would be easy. Then why don't you be a man and give it your best until the end? Otherwise, your mother might really get desperate that she'll jump into the ocean. Well, I don't think she's able to do that by herself anyway. She seems to be the type of person who would survive even if someone pushes her off the cliff. Wait a minute, Amanda. I've been cold to you, and I'm sorry for that. If you want, I'll even help you take care of your father. So please, don't give up on me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll block you so you can't contact me anymore. Huh? Please take care from now on. Also, give my best regards to Florence too. After that, I heard that Derek changed this job to a company where it is easier to take care of his mother. It seems that he can take holidays easily, even three days off a week, but his salary has dropped to less than half of what he used to make. Then, one day, a while after that, suddenly, I received a call from Florence, who had not yet blocked me. She said that since I wasn't willing to help her, she has no choice but to stay at home for the rest of her life. She also said that she's going to hate me for the rest of her life. Anyway, I sent her a picture of the trip with my paralyzed father and blocked her right away. If you and your caregiver have the will to do it, you can do anything you wish for. I wonder when Derek and Florence will realize that. This house is such a mess. Why do you never help out around the house, Austin? You live here too, you know? So why do you think it's okay to just leave it a dump? Have some pride, will you? What are you on about, Mom? This place is spotless. No, it's not. There's dirty dishes everywhere in the kitchen, not to mention the surfaces are covered in crumbs and food splodges. Well, that's not my fault. I clean the kitchen from top to bottom. If there's anything dirty in there now, then it's Harley's. Uh-huh, sure it is. It is! I always help out around the house. I'm actually the only one to do any of the cleaning and tidying. You and Harley never do it. Well, that's just not true. How can you speak to me like that? And how could you lie about your sister like that? She's always helping out and making sure that everything is as clean and tidy as possible. She's truly a little angel, she is. My perfect daughter. Ugh, barf. Stop being so rude. Maybe if you were more like her, then you'd have actually made something of your life by now. What is that supposed to mean? The only thing you do all day is sit in your room and doodle away on your paper. Where is the skill in that? I mean, who's going to want to pay for anything that you draw? It's all rubbish. It's not a real job at all. Wow, tell me how you really feel. I will tell you. You need to go get a real job so that you can start providing for this family. Forget about this drawing nonsense and go get an office job. That's what a good, self-respecting person would do. Instead of freeloading off of their family. I'm freeloading? I'm sorry, but have you met your daughter? Harley does absolutely nothing to help out around the house. She doesn't cook, she doesn't clean, and she certainly doesn't tidy up after herself. Not to mention the fact that, even though she has a job, she doesn't give you any money for rent and bills. Oh, and I'm supposed to believe that you do give me money? Yes, I give you $600 a month to live here. Is that so? Of course it is. So I don't know why you don't seem to believe me. Oh, it's just funny, really. What is? Well, Harley said that you would say this. She told me the truth, though. 
how she gives you $600 a month for you to give to me so that you wouldn't feel like a failure. She obviously can't afford to give me any money because she's been giving it to you. She would risk my anger being directed at her simply so you could feel like you are helping me out. I bet you just wanted to try and have something to hold over my head so that I'd feel like I'd have to do whatever you want or believe whatever you say. Well, nice try, but it didn't work. What are you talking about? I never took any money off of Harley. I earn all my money myself and what I give you is out of my own pockets because I want to help out however I can to make things easier on you. I knew it wouldn't be the easiest having me move back in for a little while, so I wanted to show you how much I appreciate it while I get back on my feet again. Oh, please. Look, your lies aren't going to work on me. I know the truth now that Harley told me. Why do you believe everything Harley tells you but refuse to believe anything I say? Because Harley's my perfect girl. She would never lie to me. She's just that good of a daughter. And I'm just a horrible son. Is that how you feel? Look, sometimes things just don't work out in families. You're my son, but if I had to choose between you and Harley, then I'm sorry. I'd pick Harley every time. Thanks for letting me know how little you value me. I just think that it's time for you to move on with your life. Move out of my house and get yourself your own place. Are you actually kicking me out? Like, is this for real? Yes. I don't see what else to do to make you grow up. So you're gonna maybe move out of my childhood home, the place where I grew up, simply because you think that I don't help with the housework and chores? Well, when you say it like that, you make me sound so petty. Besides, it's not just because you don't help out around the house. I want your room empty so I can convert it into an ensuite addition. I can't believe what I'm hearing. An ensuite? You're kicking me out for an ensuite? How selfish can you get? Me? Selfish? I beg your pardon? Well, it's, it's true. No loving and caring mother would kick their child out of the house simply so they could build themselves a new bathroom. And no self-respecting and loving son would freeload off of his family simply so that he could doodle all day long in his room. It's not doodling. How many times have I told you that I'm a graphic designer? I'm not doodling. I'm working hard with a number of different businesses and companies. I work a lot more than Harley. I mean... Is she ever going to aspire to become something more than just a part-time bar worker? She's even rubbish at that, often getting people's orders wrong. You're such a horrible brother, bad-mouthing your sister like that. I want you out of my house as soon as possible. Do you understand? You know what? Fine. But don't come crying to me when you realize what a mistake you've made. I doubt that will happen. Whatever. At least I'll finally be rid of you and your toxic ways. I feel the same way. Hey, Austin, I just heard about what happened between you and mom. What a shame. If you couldn't tell, by the way, that was sarcasm. I know you're a bit slow sometimes. No, I, I got it. I was just choosing to ignore you. Ugh, talk about being rude. What do you want, Harley? Nothing, really. Just here to gloat about how you're being kicked out, and I'm not. What a productive use of your time. Really, you've excelled yourself this time. Whatever. You can try and be as smart alecky and sarcastic as you want, but at the end of the day, I'm the one staying at home. In a place I don't have to pay a single penny towards, and you're the one getting kicked out. You say that like it's a bad thing, but I'm the one who won't have to deal with you or mom anymore. Try and act as uncaring as you want. It's not working. Don't you want to know why mom suddenly wants you gone? I'm gonna guess it has something to do with you. So what if it does? I need your room because it's bigger than mine. My boyfriend wants to move in with me and we need a bigger space to live. Your boyfriend? Oh, you mean that low-life moron who's always at the bar you work at? The one who can't even hold on a job? Don't talk about him like that. He's a good guy. He just needs a little bit of help to figure out what he wants to do in his life. I'm sure. It's true. Okay, I'll humor you. If you wanted my bedroom, why not just ask? I could have moved into yours. Um, no you couldn't. I need my room for all of my clothes and stuff. It's going to be my wardrobe. And does mom know about this? Because she thinks she's turning my room into an ensuite. Over my dead body she is. It doesn't matter anyway. I'll have her moved out of the house before long and it'll be mine and Troy's. His name's Troy? LOL. Whatever. Just make sure you're moved out of my room ASAP. Troy wants to move in before the end of the month. And we wouldn't want to upset Troy now, would we? No, you wouldn't. Hey, Ryan, could I ask a huge favor of you? Hey, Austin, what's the favor? Could I come and crash at your place for a little while? Just until I can sort myself out. 
My mom and my sister are kicking me out of the house. They're what? Why? Well, apparently, I don't help out around the house or with the rent and bills. That's according to mom, anyway. My sister just wants me gone so she can move her trashy boyfriend in. What a lovely family you have. Tell me about it. So, would it be cool if I stayed over? I've already got a house viewing lined up, so it wouldn't be for long. Just until I can get all the finances sorted out. Yeah, of course. You're welcome here anytime. You know that. Thanks, mate. What are you going to do about your mom and sister, though? You can't just let them get away with kicking you out like this. Don't worry, they're not getting off lightly. Austin, sweetie, it's been a while. How are you settling into your new home? Maybe I could come visit sometime? What do you think? What do you want, Mom? Huh? What do you mean? Can't a mom just talk to her son and see how he's doing? Yes, a mom can. You, not so much. What's that mean? You only ever act nice to me when you want something. You've never just messaged me to see how I'm doing. So, what do you want? Well, maybe there's a reason why I never message. Especially when you act like an ungrateful and sarcastic little brat. Let me guess. You've only just realized that I was the one paying the bills, right? I... And now you've come crawling back to me to beg for some money. I just need a little bit. <laughs> Knew it. It's just, the month after you moved out, I realized that I hadn't gotten the usual $600, because Harley said that she lent you the money to give to me. I thought I'd just ask her for it. I mean, it's a lot to have three adults living in the house and using all the utilities. Oh, right. Harley's boyfriend moved in. Yeah. Well, when I asked her for the money, she confessed that she didn't actually have it and that you were the one giving me the money from your own wages instead. I did try to tell you. I can't afford all the bills, and now Harley isn't even working. Why not? She got fired because her boyfriend started to fight at the bar with someone who was hitting on her. Haha, <laughs> lol. It's not funny, Austin. We're in a really tight spot, and I heard that you were doing well. How is that, by the way? Did you finally get a proper job like I told you to? Well, it turns out that people will pay a lot of money for my so-called doodling skills. I mean... When I lived with you, I was doing okay, but since moving out and not having to spend hours cleaning the house, I've had more time to grow my business. I'm earning quite a lot now. So all that time you were actually doing a real job? Yep. Well, great. That just means that you can give me some money on a monthly basis for the house. Nope. What? I'm not giving you anything. You treated me like rubbish the entire time that I lived with you. Always taking Harley's word over mine, and acting as if I was nothing but a freeloader. You even kicked me out. Just because you want my money now doesn't mean I've forgotten or forgiven you for what you did. You're not getting a penny out of me. You ungrateful brat. I brought you into this world, so you owe me. I owe you nothing. I didn't ask to be born. Because if I had, I would have asked for a better mother. Why, you... You've made your bed now. It's time for you to lie in it. Don't try to contact me again, because I want nothing to do with you or Harley anymore. If you do, I'll just be sure to get a restraining order. But... Goodbye. Have a nice life. I know I will now that I'm rid of you toxic people. After cutting off my mom and sister, I felt much more free. It was like a horrible, toxic weight had been lifted from my shoulders. I continued to grow my graphic design business, and it became a huge success. I even started dating an amazing woman, and I think she might be the one. As for my mom and sister, the last I heard, they had to sell the house as they couldn't pay the bills. My mom moved away to try and start a new life somewhere else, and Harley ended up moving to a horrible, rundown apartment with her new boyfriend, Tristan. She really knows how to pick him. <laughs>